And now, a special Valentine's presentation of Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, lived Cinderella. She was the stepdaughter of the ugly stepmother and ugly stepsisters. See how fucking ugly they are? They're so ugly. They were mistreating her all the time, and woe is me, said her father. So Cinderella did all the chores, because she was sucky and she couldn't stand up for herself. So Cinderella moped around all the time. Then one day, the prince's guy, the sky and tights, came and blew his horn, and everybody got excited. Yay, some dude's blowing a horn outside. Come on in, dude, said Cinderella. Oh, hey, you gonna come in? Come on in. All right. So dude with tights decides to come on in, and Cinderella gets so excited she tells her father and her stepmother, and dude with tights finally comes in. Took you fucking long enough, dude. And then he declares that the prince is going to hold a ball. Ah, yes, everyone in the kingdom is invited. Let's all get ready and go, says Cinderella. Mm Mm-mm, says the ugly stepmother and stepsisters. Cinderella's father's like, oh, I'm just a pushover, so I'll just stand here. It's cool. It's all right. Cinderella decides that she's going to have to help with everything and not get to go to the ball. Oh, well, might as well help out. Do stuff for everybody and then not do anything for yourself, Cinderella, you dumbass. Cinderella goes and finishes her chores for the evening, puts her candle down in the middle of the room and then runs away. As she's done helping the ugly stepsisters to get ready, she remembers, Ah, yes, that's right, I hate my life. What the hell am I doing? So she helps them button their clothes some more and put some more stupid hats on and look dumb as shit. Ah, Cinderella, what a charming young lady you are. So Cinderella finishes helping get more garments on the ugly stepsisters. What the fuck are they wearing? And she helps them hurry out the door to the ball. That's right, the ball. I said the ball. Then they make their way to the entrance. They greet Cinderella's dad, and they decide it's time to go. Cinderella says, can't I go, please? Can't I go to the ball? Everyone says no. And her father is a pushover again. Ah, well, maybe she'll uh, mop some shit while we're gone. Yes, that's right. Let's go have fun. Come on. Let's go to uh, the ball. And everybody leaves, and Cinderella is left to mop the floors. Woe is me, says Cinderella. Woe is me. I wish somebody would help me. I'm so pathetic. Look at how pathetic. Hmm. And then, the blink of an eye, comes the fairy godmother. She's here to help Cinderella. She's going to take all her problems away and make magic happen. Because, you know, that's how life works. Magic. Yes, magic is going to make everything better for you, Cinderella. Don't worry, you don't have to try and stand up for yourself or do anything good for yourself. Just cry and whine and some magic will happen and poof, you're going to be good. So Cinderella gathers all the parts that the fairy godmother says. She says, pumpkin, poof, it's a carriage. Look at that, just like magic, you know magic. And Cinderella says, well, what else do I need? So Fairy Godmother says, how about you go get me a Siggy and a Coca-Cola and, uh, oh yeah, some other guys and stuff. Yeah, there we go. And the Fairy Godmother makes it all happen. Look at that magic. Isn't it lovely? Poof. Just like that. People appear and carriages appear and Cinderella still looks like shit. So Cinderella decides, hmm. I think I'm going to cry some more, you know, because I'm a whiny little bitch and I don't do anything for myself. And the fairy godmother says, poof, don't you worry, I've got you covered, bitch. Yeah, you're looking fly. Get on up on that carriage and get to that ball. Go to that ball, bitch. Cinderella gets ready and goes to the ball. Don't, there you go, don't get your dress caught up in those wheels. That would suck. Yep. A fairy godmother waves her on. Have a nice time, Cinderella. Poof. Fairy Godmother does also tell her, don't worry, but be home by midnight. Because, you know, I'm going to cryptically tell you, be home by midnight. 
Cinderella arrives at the ball, and she gets to sit with the prince because, you know, magic. And magic would have it, here comes a dancing ballerina. Let's all enjoy the, oh well, she's gone. And now Cinderella gets to dance with the prince. Ah, yes, the time-old dance of bowing for men. Hmm, gotta bow, bow at the ball. And they dance around in a circle like stupid idiots, and they bow again. Hmm, ha, ah, fancy times, fancy, men in tights, you know? All right, they're still dancing. Are they done? They done dancing? No? All right. Anyways, so Cinderella is really enjoying herself, as you can see, when all of a sudden it hits midnight, poof, and she turns into ugly, boring, depressed Cinderella. And the prince says, what the hell, bitch? We was having a good time. Where'd you go? He runs down the stairs, and what should he see but her slipper? He wants to sniff it. He's gonna. He, is he gonna sniff it? No? All right, he's not gonna sniff it. Okay. So he keeps her slipper, hoping one day he'll find her again. And Cinderella's mother, or stepmother, and step-ugly stepsisters come home from the ball. Cinderella hides her shoe because she had the other one the whole time. She runs into the other room to see, and the princess come by with the shoe, and the ugly stepmother and stepsisters try on the shoe, thinking maybe, just maybe, it'll fit on their ugly fat feet. But no, no, it don't fit. It's not gonna fit. Mm-mm. Nope. Ugly fat feet. It's not gonna fit. Don't even try, bitch. Come on. Come on. Let's get to the part. Let's get... It's not gonna fit. No. Mm-mm. No. So then they decide that they're really sad. And Cinderella comes in and says, Wait, can I try on the shoe? And they're like, No. Get out of here, bitch. And then the prince's dude says, Hey, everybody in the kingdom gets to try the shoe on. Even men. So Cinderella sits down. She gets the shoe. She tries it on. And it fits her beautiful tiny feet. Look at that. Just like magic. And she even has the other one. Look at that. Now what are you going to do, hmm? And the fairy godmother appears once again because magic. And poof, she makes Cinderella beautiful all over again. So what the hell was the midnight thing? Why'd she make her go back? I don't fucking know. Anyway, so she gets excited and she gets to go see the prince. And the ugly stepmother and stepsisters are really crying sad. And now... Cinderella goes back to see her loving prince because he's in love with her after one night. And they get married and everybody lives happily ever after. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. The end. Thanks for watching Nikki Chuckles. Don't forget to come back for another video. Bye, guys.